So today I'm going to show you how to make the Klingon armor. So you want to start with about a half a piece of 3 millimeter craft foam. And on one side of it, cut the corners so that they become rounded edges. And those are going to be the top parts of the shoulder. So then cut some long, thin rectangles with one end rounded. And then just glue those onto the piece you cut a few minutes ago, matching up the flat edges on the flat edge. Then take some gold paper fasteners and put one of those in each end of those long, thin rectangles and spread the tails out on the back side to hold them in place. Do that to each of those long, thin rectangles. So you'll end up with this. So then you'll make two of those and those will be the tops of the shoulders. So then take a full piece of craft foam and measure out from the shoulder pieces you just made. Cut off the excess. And then cut some really long thin rectangles with rounded edges and just some half size rectangles and you don't need the rounded edges on the higher three there. Basically I just did these because my foam wasn't long enough. And then put a piece over the middle. Then at the top you'll just glue the shoulder piece, rounded edges to the outside, then put some more paper fasteners in the long rectangles at the bottom. So here's what you should have if you do two of those. It's going to be the front of the armor. Now for the back I took a single sheet of craft foam because that's all I had. If I had more I would have used more, but I was out of craft foam and not buying any supplies because of coronavirus. So just glue that onto the craft foam back. And this is what you should have so far. The long pieces go in the front. And then again, if I'd had more, I would have done a wider part in the back and I probably would have brought it around the sides too, but this was all I had for craft foam. So then take a five millimeter piece of craft foam and glue on some three millimeter circles. This is going to be the belt buckle. And then coat both your foam armor and your foam belt buckle in Elmer's glue. And then paint them all metallic silver once the glue is dried. Then take some metallic gunmetal gray on a dry brush and just dab it on really messily. Just kind of bouncing the brush up and down. So once that dries, it looks like hammered metal. I did the same thing to the belt buckle. So to make the actual belt, I just took some old black vinyl, folded the edges under, and sewed those in place all the way down. So here it is with the edges sewn in place. And then just sewed a couple of snaps on the underside of one end of the belt. Initially I did one, but later realized I was going to need two. And so then the corresponding snap ends will just sew on the top part of the other end of the belt so that the two ends of the belt can come around and snap together. And so that would be the base of your belt. And then just glue on the belt buckle over the snaps so that way it's the side with the snaps on the bottom so that way we'll be able to just snap that together and wear the belt. So then I took some fake fur left over from my fawn hooves, folded that in half into a rectangle. You want it to be as long as your arm, and then cut the end off at an angle, and then cut the side off at an angle so it tapers down to your wrist. So that's how your sleeve will end up. So then just flip it inside out folding it over, and then you just want to sew along the end to the point. Make sure you leave the two ends open, so just sew along the point end and leave the two ends open, and then flip it right side out. And then you'll have your nice furry little sleeves, kind of like something a Yeti has. <laughs> so here are my nice fluffy little Yeti sleeves, and I'm just going to pin those with some safety pins to whatever shirt I'm wearing. Today is a good day to die. Oh, actually, you know, today's really not a good day to die. Gotta pick up the bird of prey at the pear shop in a half hour. 
Uh, tomorrow looks like it's out too. Oh, you know, how about next Tuesday?